Greetings, dear learners. Welcome to today's video on Narrative Essay Writing Part 2. We'll have a look at some more interesting storytelling techniques and walk you through how to structure your essay properly. Conjunctions play a vital role in narrative writing as they help to connect ideas and sentences to make them more coherent. Let's have a look at an excerpt where conjunctions have been used effectively. While the commotion drew the attention of the teachers and students who rushed to the scene, the thief had nowhere to run. As the school's security personnel and local authorities were promptly informed, the perpetrator was apprehended. Soon, the news of Emily's bravery spread throughout the school. Her actions had not only thwarted the theft, but also inspired a sense of unity among the students and staff. In this excerpt, conjunctions like while, and, who, as, soon, not only, but also, ensure coherence and cohesion in the ideas while adding a flow in the storyline. If you want to make your writing more vivid, use different kinds of expressions. Through expressions, the narrator can engage the reader, create vivid images, evoke emotions, and provide insights into the thoughts and feelings of the characters. Let's look at a few examples that a student has used in his narrative essay. Descriptive expressions. In a small town in Mauritius, nestled among lush green fields, there stood a renowned school named Sunshine Academy. The phrase in a small town in Mauritius, nestled among lush green fields, serves as a descriptive expression in the sentence, painting a vivid picture of the setting and location of the renowned school. This expression also provides geographical context and presents the specific location of the school. Another narrative technique is the use of figurative language. For example, Emily's heart raced, sensing something amiss. This sentence employs figurative language to convey an emotional response and intuition. The heart is personified here and allows the writer to go beyond literal description to evoke a more vivid and engaging portrayal of Emily's emotions. We can also use idiomatic expressions such as the witness spilled the beans, which means that the witness let the secret out. It is an effective way to enhance narration. Emotive expressions can also be used to improve narrative writing. For example, summoning her courage and overcoming her fear, Emily burst into the library and confronted the intruder. 
emotions bring a human touch to the narrative. In the example we have just seen, summoning her courage and overcoming her fear is an emotive expression that evokes Emily's emotions that relate to her bravery and determination. Furthermore, overcoming her fear emphasizes her ability to conquer her fear and to confront the thief. Sensory language can also be used in a narrative piece of writing through an appeal to our different senses. For example, nestled among lush green fields appeals to our sense of sight and touch. Such sensory details engage the reader's senses and help create a vivid mental image of the environment and atmosphere. Transitional expressions allow readers to understand the flow in the storyline. For instance, as time passed, the memory of the theft slowly faded. The transitional expression, as time passed, is used in the sentence to indicate a shift in time and to introduce a subsequent development or change. Expressions of reflection in a narrative essay allow the reader to ponder or reflect on what is narrated. For example, peering through a slightly ajar door, Emily witnessed the unthinkable. So, the reader here starts wondering about the unthinkable that Emily has witnessed. Expressions of uncertainty or speculation can help create the mood and tone in the story. For example, Startled, the thief dropped the stolen books. By skillfully employing this technique, you can create a gripping narrative that keeps readers on the edge of their seats, eager to discover what happens next. Uncertainty and speculation are powerful tools in narrative writing as they create intrigue, suspense and engage readers in the story. Creating suspense through language is yet another narrative technique. For example, words and expressions such as unthinkable, sensing something amiss, discreetly, mysterious figure lurking, are all examples of how language can create suspense in a narrative. We'll now have a look at verb tenses. Verb tenses play a crucial role in narrative essay writing as they establish the timeline and sequence of events. Narrative tenses, namely past simple, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous tenses are employed to discuss events that have occurred in the past. They are used to narrate stories or provide descriptions of past events, including personal anecdotes. Remember to stick to the past tenses and not to mix verb tenses. 
Let's have a look at the use of the simple past tense. The simple past tense is used to describe completed actions or events that happened in the past. For example, there stood a renowned school named Sunshine Academy. The intruder seemed out of place, his eyes shifting nervously. Emily burst into the library and confronted the intruder. We'll now have a look at the use of the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is used to describe ongoing actions or events that were happening in the past. For example, she was discreetly watching the thief who was rummaging through the shelves looking for books. Let's consider the use of the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense is used to describe an action that happened before another action in the past. For example, the commotion drew the attention of the teachers and students who had rushed to the scene. Dear students, let us have a look at an introduction to our essay about a theft at school. In a small town in Mauritius, nestled among lush green fields, there stood a renowned school named Sunshine Academy. The school was known for its vibrant atmosphere nurturing teachers and a close-knit student space. However, one fateful day, an incident occurred that would disrupt the tranquility of the school. The introduction gives the setting of the story and suggests that something is going to happen, thereby creating suspense. We'll now have a look at an extract from the body of this essay. It was a rainy and gloomy morning when the students and teachers arrived at Sunshine Academy. Among them was young Emily, an observant and curious student with a keen eye for details. As she walked through the corridors, she noticed a new face. A mysterious figure lurking near the library archives corridor. The intruder seemed out of place, his eyes shifting nervously. Intrigued by the stranger's presence, Emily decided to investigate further. She discreetly followed the individual, carefully concealing herself behind bookshelves. As she shadowed the mysterious person, she saw him entering the school library. Emily's heart raced, sensing something amiss. As you can see, details about the plot, the atmosphere, characters and tone have been included. When you write your essay, pay attention to the use of expressions, verb tenses, adjectives, adverbs and so on. After writing the story, it's time for the conclusion. So, 
the tale of the mysterious school theft became a legendary story passed down through generations, reminding the students of Sunshine Academy of the power they held within themselves to protect their school and stand up for what is right. The conclusion ties up the narrative and provides a resolution. Dear learners, through this lesson, you have learned more about how to brainstorm a narrative essay, how to use a narrative arc, how to use various narrative techniques and how to structure the introduction, body and conclusion of your essay. Dear learners, thank you for your attention. I hope that you are now better equipped to tackle the narrative essay. Until we meet again, goodbye.